The Basement, written by M. 59 Gar. I was home alone for the week, as my family had gone on vacation and I had to stay home and work. It was around 2am and I stayed up late watching a scary movie in the dark basement. I was really intent on scaring myself to see how far into terror that I could really go, while still knowing I was safe in my own home. It was then that I heard pounding footsteps on the first floor. This was a common, annoying occurrence when my family was home. Every time they passed through the front hallway, past the basement door, I heard their footsteps. This time, fear immediately shot through me at the sound. My first reflex was to turn the TV off immediately. The basement door was up a flight of small stairs and around a corner. So, whoever it was, they wouldn't have seen any light from the TV. I heard the basement door handle click and I just turned and sat in absolute darkness. I moved slowly so I could be silent and crawled behind our large television. As I passed it inch by inch, I noted with panic that the TV's black screen still dimly glowed. Then I heard footsteps coming down the carpeted but creaky stairway. I froze in my hiding place, listening. For many long minutes, I heard nothing. Had the intruder seen the television afterglow, or had it faded in time? I seemed to lie there in total silence for an unimaginable amount of time. My panic began to fade and I started to think more clearly. Had I really heard an intruder? Could someone possibly be standing in silence for so long without making any noise? The basement was so exceedingly quiet that the silence itself began to hurt my ears. Could the unknown person really avoid any noise from shuffling, breathing, or anything else? If there was an intruder, was it still in the basement? Because the creaky stairs were incredibly loud, the door handle clicked, and they wouldn't know to mask their footsteps on the first floor so they couldn't be heard down here. I began counting in my head, trying to pass the time. Drool fell from my mouth onto the carpet. I didn't dare risk the sound of swallowing. I reached 60 seconds once, twice, 30 times, 60 times. By now, my fear had faded and I was more confused than anything. I estimated I had been crouched in absolute black for almost two hours and still heard nothing. If there was an intruder, none of this made sense. Finally, I decided I'd have to make a move. If I did nothing, eventually the sun would come up and shine through the small basement windows, and worse, something worse. I began to smell something horrible. Slowly, ever so slowly, I began inching my way towards the stairs by way of the walls. If, if someone was standing there in the dark, I should be able to go around them and make a break up the stairs. Meanwhile, the horrible odor grew even stronger. Had something died down here in the night, no living person could or would smell like that. Terrible, horrible images of some corpse monster listening for me in the dark erupted in my thoughts. I moved as fast as I could without making a sound. Just as I finally approached the steps, there was an enormous clatter of something falling or collapsing on the floor. It was at that moment that I leapt forward and crashed up the stairs, running out through the open basement door and out my wide open front door. Now absolutely certain that someone was in the house, I called the police from my cell phone and watched the house from afar. The police came and checked inside the house, then grimly came back out to question me. They had found a body in the house. My elderly neighbor who seemingly died of a heart attack. Their belief was that I must have left the front door unlocked and he must have wandered in the house while dying looking for help. At first I felt horrible, thinking that I had just 
sat there in the dark while an old man literally died a few feet away from me. Then it occurred to me, what the hell was that loud noise of things falling that prompted me at last to bolt up the stairs and out of the house? I asked the police and they confirmed. The back door of my house was left open as well, near a single bare footprint in the mud. Somehow, for some reason, I'll never know. There was someone else in the basement with us, silent, waiting, and listening in the dark over the fresh corpse of my old neighbor. Guys, thank you for listening. I hope you'll go follow me over on Twitter at RealCreepsin. It's linked in the description. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my $10 and above patrons in some kind of order. Paul Z, Mr. Swiston, Official Jerboa, Chaos X, JY, Pyromancer, Hayden MH, and Dan R. Guys, thank you so much for the support. It's this kind of stuff that keeps the channel going. Also, the liking and the sharing. As we all know, YouTube has an issue with pushing out people's content. So if you like this, share this. If you think it's worth a share, share it out there. It really means the world to us. And if you'd like to become a patron and have your name read off at the end of the video, or down in the description for the $5 patrons, go over to patreon.com. That link is in the description as well for some Patreon-only content. I am currently working on this month's patron-only video, so that should be up in about a week or so. I'm in the middle of a bunch of uh, multi-part stories, so I'm trying to get those out of the way first. Thank you.